Housing. The walls are filthy. They need to be repainted. Don't worry, we'll get it done. Car repairs. The engine makes a strange noise. It was in for repairs just last week. We'll have it checked. Clothing. This sleeve is torn. I'll have it sewn. I'd rather have a new jacket or a refund. Products. This computer crashed. Do you have a warranty? Yes, I have a three-year warranty. I'll have a technician look at it. Consumer awareness. What to be aware of. Housing. Leaky pipe. Dripping faucet. Broken doorknob. Loose floorboards. Broken window pane. Car repairs. Cracked windshield. Flat tire. Dead battery. Worn tire. Dents in the body. Clothing. Stain. Hole. Missing button. Torn. Electronic products. Air conditioner. Doesn't get cold. Cell phone. No signal. Scratched DVD. TV. Lines on screen. What's wrong? There's a broken window pane. I'll have it fixed right away. What seems to be the problem? The air conditioning isn't cooling. The thermostat needs to be fixed. What can I do for you, sir? I'd like to change rooms, please. And may I ask what is wrong with your room? The shower isn't working. There's no hot water. Have you tried taking a bath instead? The tub needs to be fixed, too. It leaks. I'll have someone look at that right away, sir. I'd still like to change rooms, if you don't mind. You see, I couldn't get any sleep last night because of my neighbor. His snoring is so loud that the walls shake. I'll see what I can do, sir. I'm afraid we don't have another room vacant right now. Please come back later, and I may have something free. Can I help you with anything else? Can you have the towels and the sheets changed every day? They haven't been changed since I checked in three days ago. I really must complain about the service in this place. This is a four-star hotel, isn't it? Oh, no, sir. We don't have any stars at all. Then, why do you have those four stars on your neon sign outside? That's just the name of the hotel, sir. The Southern Stars. You know, it's named for the constellation that has four main stars. Windshield. Hair dryer. Meat grinder. Floorboard. Shower cap. Window pane. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, please, if you could. I'd like to return a pair of jeans that my son bought. They're wide cut with faded colors. It sounds like one of Milo's creations. He designs loose-fitting clothing, and faded clothes are in style this season. Your son didn't like them? No, it's not that. It's the fabric. It's really flimsy, and... Well... Lightweight fabrics are the latest trend. You don't seem to understand. Of course, ma'am. I'll try to help. 
Can you give me the jeans? You see, they're torn at the knees and in several other places, and the material is falling apart. I noticed it when I was putting them in the washer. Your ending. What do you think was the salesperson's response? 1. Those tears are part of the design. 2. Would you like another pair? 3. Would you like a credit to buy something in another department? 4. Your idea. Murphy's Law. You invite your friends over to watch an NBA basketball playoff game on TV. There are plenty of sodas in the refrigerator, the popcorn is popping, and you are all set to watch the big game. You turn on the TV set, and all you get are fuzzy images on the screen. Is this plain bad luck, or is it Murphy's Law at work? Murphy's Law states, if anything can go wrong, it might go wrong. Similar situations occur all the time. When you're in a hurry to open the door and you try several keys on the key ring, the last remaining key is usually the one that works. When you get in a line at the supermarket, you find you've chosen the slowest one and it just doesn't move. Is this bad luck or coincidence? According to British physicist Robert Matthews, it's neither one nor the other. He explains that our selective memories tend to remember the bad episodes more readily than the things that usually work out. Also, the law of probability is more against us than in our favor in many situations. For example, in the supermarket with five cashiers, the chances of getting the fastest lane are 20% and 80% for a slower lane. Matthews became a popular scientist when he proved that a piece of toast doesn't necessarily fall on the floor on the buttered side. BBC Television gathered 300 people to throw pieces of buttered toast up in the air and observe on which side they fell. Half fell on the buttered side, and half didn't. Now here's a tricky question for Matthews. It's a known fact that cats always fall on their four legs. What happens if you tie a piece of buttered toast on a cat's back and drop them from a balcony? Will the cat land on all fours? Or will the toast land on the buttered side? I sincerely hope the BBC doesn't try this experiment. Just remember that you cannot blame Murphy's Law for everything that goes wrong. If the hot water runs out while you're having a shower, it's probably because the hot water heater needs to be fixed. If your car breaks down on the way to a job interview, it's probably because you didn't have the vehicle serviced or repaired. And if you lose all your files on the computer, it's not bad luck. It's your fault for not doing a backup of your files. Captain Edward A. Murphy Captain Edward A. Murphy, Jr. was an engineer at Edwards Air Force Base in the United States. In 1949, he was working on a machine to measure the heartbeat and breathing of pilots. But something was malfunctioning in the equipment as the result of human error. Murphy blamed the lab technician and said, If there is any way to do it wrong, he will. One person's failure can bring a whole project crashing down, and Murphy's view was that some failure or something negative will typically happen. Murphy's phrase became popular in all areas to explain the failures of everyday things. Inter Electronica, Customer Service Department, 345 Jackson Road, 
Baltimore, Maryland, 23770. Dear Sir, I purchased a set of earphones at your store three days ago. According to your promotional material, any item that is faulty and is returned within 24 hours is fully refunded and a discount voucher is offered for future purchases as a courtesy to the customer. I attempted to use my earphones the day I purchased them and found out that one of the cables had not been connected. I therefore called your customer service department and was advised to return the earphones as soon as possible. I drove to your place of business immediately and tried to do as advised. Unfortunately, however, I was told by the assistant that the earphones could only be returned if the packaging was intact. Allow me to wonder how one is supposed to find out if an item is faulty or not if it is kept in its packaging. And if that is the case, it would seem fair to include it in your promotional material in large block letters, instead of conveying the wrong message and misleading people. I regret to inform you that following this incident, I will refrain from using your retail outlet in the future and will have to report you to Consumer Protection. Yours sincerely, a displeased former customer.